welcome back to MTN Live in the Mountains. I'm here with Pamela Mitchum. She is the Preservation and Digital Project Archivist at the Appalachian State Belk Library. How are you today? I'm good. How are you? Good. I'm glad I got that title right. <laughs> <laughs> um, so it's good to have you here. You. Um, we're going to be talking about a book that you put together, that you wrote and put together, um, the, of our history of Appalachian State, which is amazing. Um, so how did you how did you get involved with working in the archives at ASU? Well, um, I did two graduate degrees at ASU, and my first graduate degree is in App Appalachian Studies. Mm -hmm. uh, so I came up here in two thousand. Um, I'm sorry, 1997, and. Um, I started out as a graduate assistant in the University Archives and decided that that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to be an archivist. And so I spent about 10 years of my career working with the University Archives and um, and then in 2007 um, we got an LSTA grant, Library Services and Technology Act grant, to digitize uh, 7,000 of our photographs. Wow. And so that was a two-year project. Um, we did that, and we had wanted to do some promotion uh, from that, maybe you know a book or uh, a calendar or something. And of course, life happened and mm. never quite got around to it until you know um, this past year. Uh, I spent working on. Um, the Arcadia book. That is yeah. fantastic. What a unique job that you have. It's, I feel like you are the person to go to if you want to know anything about ASU. <laughs> Definitely want to go back and say, well, tell us from the very beginning, like, tell us a unique story. <laughs> I don't want to put you on the spot, no. though. <laughs> but we have a lot of great stories in the mm -hmm. archives. I bet. It's so great. Um, as an alumni myself, I definitely um, would love to know more about the history and how it got started and, you know, the student life activities from the 20s and 30s. I mean, that's just awesome. You Not only do you get a great look insight into the you know, ASU, mm -hmm. but you also can learn a lot about the culture and the history back then. Um, yeah. So that is so awesome. Um, so tell us a little bit about the book. Um, well, um, as I said, we, we wanted to do something to sort of promote the archives and uh, promote our collections because we want people to use them. We want people to come to us and use them. And um, so I decided it was a good time to go ahead and do the book. Arcadia had contacted me about doing one. And um, if you're familiar with the Arcadia books, they're, they're very popular and a lot of archives are doing them mm -hmm. now. And everybody, you know, was asking, well, okay, what? Why doesn't ASU have one? Well, now we do. That's good. <laughs> um, so we we did the book, uh, one, to promote our collections, uh, and also sort of as a fundraiser. Um, we have a foundation account that was established by Elizabeth Brown Scoggins, and she was a granddaughter of Dee Dee Darty, who was one of the founders of mm -hmm. ASU. Um, and she was also a patron of the archives. Uh, she you know, uh, donated her personal collection to us um, as well as um, the donation for the foundation account. And what we want to do is grow that foundation so uh, account. So all the proceeds uh, from the book, the royalties are going to go into that account. That is awesome. Yeah. That is fantastic. What a great idea. Um, that, that is fantastic. So with, with this book, what else can we find in the archives at ASU? Uh, well, we have uh, just about anything you can think of. Um, the The majority of the archives comprise the institutional records, you know, the, the departmental records, uh, the presidents and chancellors' papers. Um, we have over 300,000 photographs that uh, came from the university photographers as well as um, student publications. That is fantastic. Um, we have some, and we want more, uh, student life collections. And what I mean by that are the things that students have collected during their time at ASU. Uh, pictures, diaries are great, letters home, scrapbooks. We have a few wonderful scrapbooks already. And we put uh, some of those online for people to use. Really? Yeah. That is awesome. Yeah. And so this book is full of just beautiful pictures um, mm -hmm. and we'll we'll have a close-up of these um, but this doesn't even cover not even half of all the no. pictures that you 
you've yeah. got in the It's in the a archives. very small sample of what we actually have, and it was very difficult to choose. I think it's about 240 pictures out of over 300,000. Wow. Um, but, I, you know, I tried to um, have a equal representation of uh, the campus building, students, faculty, staff, um, and as well as, you know, sort of track the changes of the university, the technological changes, curriculum changes, and that sort of thing. That is fantastic. Yeah. So we've got it all the way through all of the new additions on campus. That's correct. I see that we have, yeah. you know, different buildings. This is so cool mm -hmm. to sit back and, and to, mm -hmm. to look through how far we've come. Yeah. That is fantastic. So um, for people who definitely want to get this book, and I, mm -hmm. I know I definitely do, um, when can we get it and where? Um, it will be released uh, September 22nd. Mm -hmm. um, the ASU Bookstore will be carrying it as well as they, uh, anyone can go to the Arcadia website. Mm -hmm. um, I, I, we should have some in, in local s stores as mm -hmm. well. That's great. Yeah. Um, so what is the website that we can go on to to get the book to, to or get the to, book. to learn more about the archives at, okay. as a whole? Well, um, to get the book, you'd have to go to Arcadia Publishing. Mm -hmm. um, for the archives, um, you can go to specialcollections.appstate.edu. Mm -hmm. Or um, our digital collections um, is uh, omeka, O-M-E-K-A, mm -hmm. dot library, dot app state, e oh. edu. All right. So what about for, you know, I'm, I'm an alumni. I'm not a student anymore, mm -hmm. but what about for those in the community? Can we come to the library? Of course. And you're on the fourth floor. We are on the fourth <laughs> floor. Yes, anybody can come to the library and use the collections. Mm -hmm. um, they are available. And um, they can also access the online material as mm -hmm. well, as long as they have a computer. Well, that is fantastic. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you so much for keeping our history alive and doing doing this wonderful book. It's um, rightfully named Appalachian State University, the Campus History Series. And this comes out the 22nd. Mm -hmm. It's absolutely fantastic. I've just been flipping through it, and it's really awesome. So thank you so much for being here. We appreciate it. Thank you. All right. We'll be right back after this.